The fall colors are starting to show off and Daniel Thomas, Deputy Director of the Illinois Office of Tourism, is with us with details on the new Fall Colors Trip Planner. So glad to have you here with us, Daniel. Great to be here with you, Grace. And of course, that trip planner is now live on AjoyIllinois.com. So for those that are interested in seeing the kaleidoscope of colors uh, as the leaves change right across the state and look for fall inspiration, uh, you can interact with that on our website. Yeah, this is such a cool resource. I know a lot of people who are trying to plan those fall getaways, they love to time it when those colors have turned and they're um, those beautiful fall colors. Explain a little bit on how this works um, as a resource. Absolutely. So uh, visitors can go onto enjoyillinois.com and go to our full landing page. And there's a little ticker at the bottom of uh, that main page. And what it does, it's a partnership with the Illinois Department of Natural Resources. And we feed live data in right up and down the state so that you can see in time week by week when the fall leaves uh, a change in color. So you can plan your trip right precisely down to the parts of the state that are, that are turning in real time uh, and changing color. Absolutely, and you have some great ideas if people are thinking to plan that little getaway. Um, let's start with the charming towns um, here in our state. We have a lot of them, but you have a few great ideas. We do, we have so many, but a few of my favorite, of course, close by uh, to your viewers is Galena. Uh, and of course, the charming historical main street of Galena and just its sheer location along the river there, uh, you can get a great uh, view. So meander through antique shops on main street, uh, get connected with history, and then not far away, a short drive is Savannah, Illinois. And of course, uh, again, an historic town. Um, and the wonderful thing is, is that it's located near the Mississippi Palisade State Park. And of course, you get that majestic view overlooking the mighty Mississippi. Um, and in fact, Savannah was actually uh, ranked number one small town by USA, USA Today uh, for an adventure town for the second year in a row. And then to top it all off, uh, last but certainly not least, Elsa in Illinois. And this is really wonderful in the sense that the whole entire population and town is on the National Registry of Historic Places. So that's a must see to do to finish your trip off in that region. Yeah, absolutely. And I know we don't have too much longer in our segment, but I do want to make sure we hit on if people head north, we love um, a lot of little things you can do there in Chicago. Absolutely. In Chicago, I love people to start right downtown in the heartbeat of the city, take it at Chicago Architecture River Cruise, check out the architecture, uh, get out on the water and get your bearings. And of course, in Lincoln Park, take the family across to Lincoln Park Zoo, uh, Full Fest, a family favourite there, uh, which runs through October uh, and interact through the Harvest Maze. And then, of course, another um, area is Morton Arboretum in Lyle, Illinois. So just outside Chicago, over 1,700 acres of trees along the Arboretum. And of course, Fall Festival, there's something there for the adults as well, because we have over 30 local breweries joining uh, for this year's Fall Festival starting October 21. So good. And I, before we run out of time, I do want to hit, if people are in the southern part of the state or would like to take a little trip there, um, you have some awesome ideas as well. Absolutely. Head south down to the Garden of the Gods and Shawnee National Forest. Uh, just those wonderful, majestic views, uh, breathtaking bluffs, and maybe do an overnight there as well. And one of our favorite uh, places, Davy School, and their themed uh, suites uh, for um, school rooms. And then, of course, you're right in the middle of wine country. So uh, once you've had your hike, you've had your overnight, uh, getting into the Shawnee Hills Wine Trail, where there's 11 wineries uh, available to enjoy some best of all Illinois wine. Yeah, we sure have a wonderful state. Lots of great ideas um, to enjoy this fall. We appreciate you for joining us with some great ideas. And if people are interested in checking out um, the many great ideas we talked about, we'll connect them to enjoyillinois.com over on our website, caliving.tv. All right, thanks, Daniel.